Welcome to our tutorial about debugging. Three types of errors exist. Syntax errors, runtime errors, and logical errors. Syntax errors are often just spelling mistakes, as you've seen me do many times. For example, I misspelled the keyword dim here. When I mouse over, I see the syntax error prompt. Int A also has a blue squiggly line under it. When I mouse over it, I see that it's not declared. If we leave the program as is at this point and try to compile it, Visual Studio won't be able to process. It'll give us a warning message. Let's click No. Now we see the error list window showing a description and location of our two errors. To fix syntax errors, basically you just need to correct your spelling for the most part. See how the blue line disappears and now the code looks fine. Now let's talk about runtime errors. These types of errors happen during runtime and they cause the program to stop unexpectedly. For example, here I've got variables a and b declared as integers. But here the default values are strings. If at this point I click the test button, I'll end up with a runtime error. Here's my error message. Conversion from string A to type integer is not valid. Another type of error is human error. This type of error causes a program to produce unexpected results. Let's take a look at my example. We've got a pretty simple program. The integer in the left text box is compared to the integer in the right text box. If this comparison tests true, we should receive a yes value. However, let's run the test. I receive a no value. This mistake was caused by human error. These are logical errors and they are usually the most difficult to find and the most difficult to fix. Can you see the location of the error in this block of code? Here it is. Instead of the equals operator, I use the greater than operator. At this point, if you don't have the debug toolbar visible yet, right-click and ensure that it's checked. Now, let's insert a breakpoint at line 6. Let's examine the code line by line while we execute it and see the changes inside the code. Click the Start Debugging button. We'll enter some values in our text boxes 2, 2, and Test. Now, when I mouse over integer A, we see that integer A stores a value of 0. Let's use the Step Into button to execute the next line of code. Now when I mouse over integer A, it stores a value of 2. Let's go to Debug, Windows, Auto. The Auto window shows the state of the variables and the properties currently used. For example, I can see that variable A stores a value of 2 and that variable B stores a value of 0. Let's step in again. Now we can see when we mouse over that integer A stores a value of 2 and integer B stores a value of 2. Mousing over the comparison operator shows us that it represents a Boolean value. What I can do, I can highlight this comparison test and the mouse over pop-up shows me the error. The comparison test is returning a value of false. If we step in, we see that Visual Basic skips line 9 and goes to the else statement. As a result, the text box result displays no. Let's click on step in again and again. In order to correct the mistake, we need to exit debug mode. Now I'm able to correct the mistake. Let's run our program again. 
We'll enter integers 2 and 2 and test. Step in 2. Now if I highlight the comparison test again, the comparison test returns a value of true. And this concludes our debugging tutorial.